Hi everyone, welcome back to another vegan what I eat in a day. And so for breakfast one day recently, I had some mushrooms and asparagus on toasted rye. I started by slicing up six medium sized mushrooms and to a pan I added half a teaspoon of olive oil and then I added in the mushrooms and cooked them off until they turned a slightly golden brown color. I then trimmed and washed a small bunch of asparagus spears. I placed those in the pan too, seasoned everything with salt and pepper and then shuffled it every few minutes for around 10 minutes. I then put my grill on and placed two small slices of rye bread into toast and then once that was done I placed those in a dish topped it with the mushrooms and then I took some vegan Worcester sauce to add some more flavour and also to stop it from being too dry. I then topped it with the asparagus and some more cracked black pepper and I had that with a glass of lemon water which is amazing in the mornings for just cleansing and it really wakes me up as well. I don't actually often buy asparagus as I find it can be quite expensive but I had some left over from an asparagus risotto that I had made and I've shown this in a video before so the recipe for this is linked down below and with mushrooms it actually works really well as a breakfast option. For a morning snack I had some lemon and chili lentil chips with some fresh salsa. I started by finely chopping up half a red onion, two medium sized tomatoes, one small fresh red chilli and a small handful of fresh coriander. I added those in a bowl together and then I minced in one clove of garlic, squeezed over the juice of half a lemon, seasoned it with salt and black pepper and then it gave it a really good mix together. I then took some lentil chips. These are the Eat Real Lemon and Chilli flavour which you guys recommended after I tried the tomato and basil and the creamy dill flavours. They taste so delicious by themselves, they're so crunchy and they're shaped like the others so they're perfect for scooping up your salsa or guacamole or dip. The flavour combination of this was just so good, they all worked really well together. I actually had a little bit of the salsa left over but I just ate that up with a fork. For lunch I had some veggie rice paper wraps with a peanut dip. I first sliced up one cucumber, one peeled carrot, a red pepper, two spring onions and half an avocado. I then soaked my rice paper wraps. These just need soaking in a bowl of cold water for around 15 to 20 seconds to make them go soft. I then lay them out on my chopping board and then take a few sticks of each sliced vegetable, place it in the middle of the wrap and then fold the sides over and roll it from one end to the other. I then cut them in half and placed them in a dish and I made four of these all together so there were eight halves. I then made a peanut kind of like a satay dipping sauce for them by blending up half a cup of peanuts in my food processor with one teaspoon of onion flakes, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, two teaspoons of tamari, a squeeze of fresh lemon juice and half a cup of water until it was smooth. I popped that in a dish for dipping and then I also made a juice to go with it. This is my current favourite juice and I just used one cucumber, one carrot, one pear, an orange, a peach and around a quarter of a small watermelon. It tastes like sweets and it's so good. I love these wraps because they're such a quick and easy lunch. It's something a little bit different to your standard sandwich and you can fill them with whatever you like. You could have them with a sweet chili sauce, an avocado dip, a mango dip. There's just so many ways you could have these and they're amazing for the summer months as something light and perfect for picnics too. For an afternoon snack, I made a fruit, nut and chocolate trail mix. I just took a small handful of almonds, a small handful of goji berries, some pumpkin seeds and some cacao nibs and I just mixed those in a dish and snacked on those whilst I did some work on my laptop. It's such a simple snack but it tastes delicious and you can totally mix up the nuts 
fruits and seeds and come up with all sorts of different creations. For dinner I made some Turkish style green beans in olive oil and fresh tomatoes. I started by peeling four large tomatoes. For this you can just prick them with a fork, then place them in a bowl or a pan of boiling water. Mine was not on the heat and then just let them sit for a few minutes then you can remove them and the skins will peel straight off. I then roughly chopped those up as well as one large white onion. This is a very olive oil heavy dish and usually recipes would recommend half a cup but I just used three tablespoons and I added those to a pan on a medium heat and then added in the chopped onions. I cooked those until soft but you don't want to let them turn brown. Next I mince in three cloves of garlic then I added in one tablespoon of tomato paste the chopped tomatoes and then I took a kilo of fresh green beans any green beans will work for this recipe I trimmed the ends and then I cut them in half I added those into the pan and then seasoned it with salt and pepper before adding in one and a half cups of boiling water I gave everything a really good stir for a few minutes and then I placed the lid on and left it to simmer for 40 minutes on a low to medium heat. You can eat this hot or cold, we ate it much later on. I find that the longer it's left the better it tastes so I just reheated it before serving it and then I topped it with some fresh chopped parsley. This is traditionally eaten with yogurt. I think coconut yogurt would probably be a bit too sweet but soya yogurt could work. You could also serve it with bread for dipping or some brown rice but this makes four portions so we just had two bowls each as more of like a stew or a soup on its own and it's actually surprisingly really filling. For dessert I made some chocolate and almond dipped figs. I started by melting down one tablespoon of coconut oil in a pan on a low heat. I then added in four squares of Mulu's silk dark chocolate and then gently melted that down. I took two fresh figs and just cut those in half then I dipped them halfway into the melted chocolate. You can use a teaspoon to help you coat them. Once I'd laid them out into a dish, I then sprinkled them with some chopped or roasted almonds. You can set them in the fridge and eat them cold, or you can eat them whilst the chocolate is still warm. I actually keep my figs in the fridge, so they're already cold when I put the chocolate on them, and so it sets pretty much straight away. This is the most amazing combination. I love the sweetness from the figs with the bitterness of the dark chocolate and the saltiness from the roasted almonds. And that is it for another day on my plate. I really hope you enjoyed this video and as always, all of the ingredients and recipes will be written up in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next one. Bye.